Signal attenuation. Wherever you go, information is being sent through airwaves around you in the form of electromagnetic radiation. Whether television broadcasts, Wi-Fi signals, or AM and FM radio waves, each broadcast has a distinct frequency. Signal receiving devices, such as radios, need a tuning component that filters the appropriate set of frequencies from the countless signals in the air. The tuner must pass signals of the desired frequency to the part of the device that converts them into useful information, while attenuating, or filtering out, signals that are too low or high in frequency. Bandpass filters are ideal for this purpose. In the diagram, the gain of an LC bandpass is plotted against the input signal frequency. The pass band is centered around the resonant frequency F0. Frequencies below the bottom edge of the pass band, FL, and above the top edge, FH, are attenuated. Frequencies inside the passband are transmitted with no decrease in amplitude or voltage. The difference between FL and FH is B, known as the bandwidth. This diagram is an example of a simple RLC bandpass filter. The filter functions much like a voltage divider's with two impedances, Z1 from the resistor and Z2, the combined impedance of the LC tank or parallel circuit. The output of the voltage divider is equal to the voltage drop across Z2, the tank circuit, which is equal to V equals IZ. The impedance of a parallel LC circuit is maximized at resonant frequency. Of all the signals that pass into the circuit, those that match the resonant frequency are output at a much higher voltage than those higher or lower than the specified frequency. Radio tuning. Radio transmitters convert sound information into electromagnetic waves and convey those waves across great distances. Radio receivers must detect those signals, convert them back into sound, and amplify them for waiting ears. Most radio receiving circuits consist of a few basic parts. The antenna, which indiscriminately captures all radio waves, using them to induce AC current. The radio frequency amplifier, which amplifies the current transmitted by the antenna so that it is easier to tune. The tuner, which filters signals captured by the antenna, passing on signals of the desired frequency and attenuating undesired signals. The detector, which transforms radio frequency signals into meaningful audio information. And the amplifier, which increases the volume of the audio signal from the detector so that it can be heard. In the simplest of radios, the tuning circuit is often a rudimentary bandpass filter composed of a parallel LC or RLC circuit. The important characteristic of such circuits is their variable resonant frequency. The resonant frequency of an RLC tuning circuit is manipulated with either a variable inductor or a variable capacitor. By manually changing the inductance or capacitance of the tuning circuit, the radio listener can control its resonant frequency. This allows them to select what frequency of radio wave passes through the tuning circuit, which in turn determines which radio station is played.